Hey, my friends, this is Chandra, your friend in holistic wellness, spirit, soul, and body. Happy Sunday to you. So delighted to always come to you guys via the phone, iPads, wherever you may be viewing this video. I'm so happy that you've tuned in, that you clicked on this video just to say hey and to see what's going on in the life of Dr. C and Iyama International. Well, it's a glorious, beautiful, sunny day. It's not too cold outside. Aren't you glad for that? And it's not raining. So I think everyone should be pretty happy today. <laughs> I am. Anyway, you know, I uh, want to always encourage you, inspire you, and urge you forward towards holistic health, spirit, soul, and body, as uh, is it First, 3 John 1 and 2 says, Beloved, I pray above all that your soul would, pro that you would prosper as your spirit is prosper. I can't say, remember it verbatim, but beloved, I pray that you would prosper even as your soul is prospering. So, as your soul is prospering, then everything about you is prospering. And that is our prayer for this year of the double. <laughs> Are you ready for the double? Are you preparing? I am really ready for some goodness. You know, life can throw you some lemons. And some of us, we make lemonade. You know, but uh, there are times where, and seasons where, we should expect good. You know, if you're sowing good, reaping a harvest of better and good and great should be what we expect. So, I always seek to um, sow love, sow goodness. You know, sometimes it's not reciprocated, but being who I am, that's just my nature. I'm... I'm just, I walk in the spirit of love, peace, and joy. And I will continue that no matter what. Now, don't get it twisted. Medea will come out of the bag at times. But it's still in love. Because she's going to always tell you in love. But she's going to be firm with you. Amen. <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there. Don't get it twisted, you know, because people can take your kindness and think you are weak. That is not the case at all. So, anyway, look for the harvest of good things that are coming your way. I am, my hands are open, the doors are open, and I'm ready to receive all the good things, all the great things. Enough of these lemons. Hello, somebody. Enough of these lemons. It's time to... Walk in the word, believe the word. You know, we, we quote these Bibles and we read it. But do we really walk in it? I'm talking to me, always talking to me first. Do we really walk in what we're reading, what we're studying, what we're laboring in? We're praying for others, but now I'm looking in the mirror. What about me? It's my time for reaping. It's my time for the harvest and that's not selfish at all and even if it is I and I'm speaking for me only I can't speak for you I'm speaking for me I am entitled to be selfish at this time because I care so much for others and you know sometimes you just leave yourself on the side that's not cool anymore for me no this is the season for me to really love me. More of me. Amen. All right. I did have something to share with you guys. Um, hmm. And I can't remember what it is. I should have wrote it down. But always remember to go and like our Facebook pages, Dr. Chandra S., as well as Iyama International, I-A-M-A -A International. Always gonna inspire you every day with little 
uh, messages that I get downloaded in my spirit, I'm always going to share it with you because we love you and we want you to do great this year. Don't miss your opportunities. Don't miss your blessings. Don't miss anything because the outpouring is happening and my hand and my cup is open and ready to receive it. I hope yours is as well. Well, I cannot remember. I'm just going to have to make another video and come back to you guys because I can't remember and I didn't write it down yet what I was going to share with you guys. But, aha, uh -huh, here it is. Okay, I just heard a message about wisdom. And I was in the restroom. You know, you never know when you're going to get that download from heaven. You never know when you're going to get that aha moment where you the lights finally just come on. And I'm going to share about how wisdom kicks in. You can be going through something and you don't quite get it. You don't quite understand all of it. What is really going on here? You've been asking that question for months, maybe even years. What is this? What is going on? So, it was that moment just a little while ago. I think I was in the bathroom washing my hands or something. And it just, I just got enlightened about a certain situation that I'm currently dealing with. I won't speak about it, but I will say this. Be open to receive whatever spirit is re revealing. Sometimes it's not what you think. Sometimes, you know, as a woman, I'm going to say this, as a woman, we have so much insight, intuition, but sometimes we don't heed to it. We just... We're gigabytes. I know I am. Store a lot of information. Gigabyte, megabytes, whichever one stores information. That what I am. I'll get information and I'll just, oh, okay, I'll file that away. But it's there. <laughs> it is there. So it's not lost. It's there. And it'll just come back up out of your spirit when you're still enough, when you're open enough to receive it. I think that's what it is. You have to be open enough to receive some of the insights that you need to get. So, needless to say, there are many changes that are taking place on the inside of us. There are many changes that will take place on the outside as a result of the changes on the inside. So just be on the lookout for those insights and those aha moments that you will experience in the upcoming days because if I'm experiencing them I know that you too are or will be experiencing them as well well I just wanted to drop that note on you guys peace and love always until next time this is your friend in holistic wellness spirit soul and body Dr. C have a great day.